Alright, I am back with part two. Now you got your explorer's kit, you can grab onto these balls or whatever they are in midair and swing off them. And you can also grab onto vines, walls, whatever with this thing. It's actually pretty useful. Like right here you can grab onto that and by pressing up to get up there and yeah, you'll get it once you try it. <laughs> grab by pressing up, press up to go on top of it or climb on top of it. And just keep moving forward. Nothing really in your way as long as you stay off the ground. And we are already at the first jungle boss. This one's just annoying because it just takes so long. It's not hard. And jump on his head when he pops it up. And he's gonna go into the water. Then he's gonna pop out of the water and kinda skip on top of it like you're throwing a rock on there and then shoot water on all different directions. Just jump on his shell when he does that. Pretty easy to avoid. And every once in a while he'll jump back on land. That's your opportunity to jump on his head again. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's why it's boring. And here's the water. I can't do anything, so I still gotta wait. <sighs> and he popped out, so I can jump on his head. Yeah! I think it takes six hits. But those six feel like six hits feel like they feel, take forever. And da, 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 da. Yeah, jumping on a shell does nothing. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. I'm pretty sure you can uh, hang off those hooks and still avoid that water attack. But uh, I wouldn't count on it. Just keep jumping on a shell when he does that. Like, like that. You think he's gonna pop up again? Yes! And he seems to jump on one of two sides, like are those side platforms. There's he jumps like here and then he jumps like here. Oh he's doing it two times in a row. Oh nice. So you gotta look out for which side he jumps on. And he's dead. Move on. Now this next area is getting a little bit more annoying. Don't want to buck this snail. <laughs> um, and avoid the snail. Because this is the first area that the flying squirrels start popping up. And they are annoying. Probably the most, oh geez, most annoying any enemy in the game, really. And go Just up as high as you can to the vine and you are in the next area. Keeps going along the vines, going along the- oh god. <laughs> That's why I hate those squirrels, they just pop out out of nowhere. Oh, like that. How the heck was I supposed to avoid that? <laughs> anyway, whoa. Okay, next area. I don't know why they give you these batteries. You don't really need to use your vacuum here. Just avoid these sulfur vents. I think there's sulfur vents, I don't know, but whatever's in there looks stinky. <laughs> oh, I missed time that. That was just stupid. Because I shouldn't be rushing, even though I have to, because I'm recording this. Oh, come on! Okay, next up is the Gorilla Boss. He's kind of annoying too, but not, not in a turtle kind of way, but because he can actually hit you. His, one of his attacks is dropping those coconuts downward. Kind of like uh, Dr. Robotnik in uh, Sonic 2. What was the name? Uh, Mystic Cave Zone, I think it was. Similar to that. His next attack is dropping on top of you. you gotta watch the top, see the shaking leaves, and he never does it more than three times. And just keep jumping on him. Oh god. Get ready to jump over that. Um, he's got another attack where he likes to bounce off the walls. Oh, that was bad timing. He just does that spinny thing and then he bounces off the middle of the two trees. And I think he's almost dead. Oh, that's the attack that I was talking about. Come on, die already. Ah. Oh. Dang coconuts. And yeah, he's dead. Alright, we are done with stage two.
Next up is the haunted house, I think it's called. Yes! And those two ghosts will make another appearance to give you another suit. Pluto, gosh, it's fun to see you. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Pluto, what's wrong? It's terrible. Baron Pete's evil hedge ghosts have moved in. And they're haunting us out of house and home. I suppose we'll have to find a new place of our own to haunt. Baron Pete? That big palooka! Don't worry, he'll be stopped somehow. He must have done the same thing at the circus. Moving his evil thugs and taking over. There's no telling what he'll do next. <clears throat> Good luck, and maybe this outfit will help. It's been in the family for centuries. Gee, thanks. Now Pluto, you stay here. And protect our new friends. Time to go. And he'll change into the cowboy outfit. And I will continue this walkthrough in part three. So I'll see you there.